Good morning, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to review the kind of reading notebook entry that we started in class on Tuesday, where we kind of looked at the character from our independent reading book and came up with two to three traits to describe them because characters have more than one trait. They're complicated. And how we looked at at least having one less likable trait because all characters have less likable traits. So we worked with Salva. You guys worked with your own characters in your journal, but I'm just going to review. And we kind of talked about how he was dependent. And we had our evidence here of when he was dependent. We talked about how he was whiny and had our evidence. And dependent and whiny are kind of those less likable traits. But Salva's also very hardworking. And we looked at some of the evidence that explained how he was hardworking. But as we read today, Salva really started to change, and the characters in your story are also going to change. It doesn't mean they, like, wake up one day and they're a 180 completely different than they were before. Sometimes change takes time. You might change a little and then go back to old ways and then, but still continue to make progress a little bit later. Um, kind of like how we change as people. So I started to see Salva become more... Sorry, I got a lot of wires here. Independent. And so I kind of put the word change here. So when you're doing your adding to your read, reading um, notebook entry today, you want to be adding a trait that's showing change. Um, so I said that Salva is becoming independent. And an example of this is when... Oh, this is not going to work. I apologize. I'm going to have to use a different color. I had wanted to use red, but... All right. When uncle told him he wasn't going with him to the refugee camp. And at first, Salva like clutches uncle's arm and is like, you can't leave me. But then he has a realization that, you know, he can't act like a baby. So he realizes he needs not to act. And I'm going to go on to the back here. You can do that too. My little chart. Like a baby. All right. Um, and that he needs to be a little bit more mature. So maybe another trait that he's changing is that he's becoming more mature. Not just mature, but independent as well. So your job today is to continue reading. And when you come across a time when your character is changing, they're acting or thinking differently than they normally would, I want you to record that on your reading notebook entry. When I take a look at your notebook entries on um, Friday and on Monday, because I will be looking at them, um, I'm going to be looking for you to have one less likable trait, one trait that shows change, okay, and you need at least one other trait. And don't forget that evidence piece. That's what's going to be really important. And your evidence needs to be specific. We are so specific here, giving exact times when things happened. Like for him whiny when he stubbed his toe and the mosquitoes were biting him. I wouldn't want to just write, he complains all the time. That's not specific enough. I want to know a time when he exactly complains and what he is exactly complaining about. So just as a review, you um, want to be reading and in your entry you need one less likable trait, one trait that shows change, and I would mark that maybe in a different color or put the word change next to it or star it, and one other trait, and then that specific evidence. Now, if you don't feel like you are in the part of your story yet where your character has shown change, I would do some reading. But um, on Friday, after you take your pronoun test, you'll need to add that change in. Okay, so maybe you don't get the change trait today. Maybe it is Friday because we are going to have some time on Friday to continue working. 
Um, but on Friday and Monday, I am going to be looking at your uh, reading journal entries and giving you a reading journal entry or reading notebook entry grade. All right. Good luck.